Scrolling may be useful in many elements of your game, for example, inventory screen or leaderboard. In this episode, I'll show you how to create a simple scrollable list and also how to create Netflix-like horizontal list with scrollbar. Here I have a simple text list with some badly organized nicks. Don't worry, I'll work on that later. As you can see, when I run the game, the list does not scroll, even though I have some more lines outside of the screen. Let's fix that. The first thing we need to do is to put all of these text elements into one parent game object. Right click on the canvas in hierarchy and select Create Empty Game Object. Let's call it Content. Then resize it to fill the entire white space. And select all text elements to drag them into the newly created object. Great! Now let's organize them a bit. In the Content object, click Add Component and add Vertical Layout Group. That immediately fixed some of the styling issues, but we can still do even better. To give our text some space, in padding options, I'll type 24 from all sides. We also can have a bigger spaces between each row using this padding field. In my case, I'll type 16. Then add content size fitter and set vertical fit as the preferred size. That way, our content game object will resize to cover all texts. Finally, very important step, set content object as a scroll area child in the hierarchy. Great! We can now finally create a scrolling script. In scroll area, click add component and add scroll rect. Here, assign our content object and make sure that scrolling is only vertical, not horizontal. That's it. Press play and try to scroll like in the mobile device. Press and drag the mouse cursor on the screen. You can also use mouse scroll, but you might find it a bit too slow. To fix that, change the scroll sensitivity to something like 20. Much better. You might have already noticed one issue though. Our text overflows the white box here at the top. If you watched my previous video about Unity UI masking, you might already know how to fix that. Stop the game and add the Rectangle Mask 2D component to our scroll area. It will mask out everything outside it. Additionally, for optimization purposes, it's a good practice to set the same object with the mask as a viewport. Now, when I press play and scroll, you can see our perfectly masked out UI. The next example will be this Netflix-like UI. I have listed here different episodes from my CocoCode channel and I'd like to have it nicely done with the scroll bar like in the list at the bottom. I've already prepared scroll area and content game objects. Let's add all necessary components. In content, add horizontal layout group, change left and right padding to 22 this time, and change its spacing to 16. Then add content size fitter, and this time set horizontal fit to preferred size. You may need to change the content position after that change. Finally, in the scroll area, add scroll rect, assign content, uncheck vertical scroll, change sensitivity to 20, and set our scroll area as a viewport. Great! We can now run the game and test our scrolling. Everything works fine, except one thing. When I try to start scrolling between images, nothing happens. We can easily fix that. Simply stop the game and add image component to our content object. That way, every gap will also be treated as a scrollable area. Don't forget to change its color to transparent or in my case just to black. Now let's add the scroll bar. Right click on the scroll area in hierarchy and select UI scroll bar. Change its position and size to fill almost the entire width of the screen. Then change its color to very transparent white. 
That way, it will be much easier to distinguish the handle from the background. Finally, to make it work, click on the scroll area object and drag in the newly created scroll bar here, into the horizontal scroll bar field. You can see that our scroll bar has immediately changed its size and when I run the game, it works as intended. That's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you like to be notified about any future Unity UI videos and don't forget to like it to see more such tutorials. See you in the next one.